Hi, Fem Founders. My name is Gia. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe now for more self growth, self care, and self image. Okay, you're gonna wanna stay till the very end. Here's how to instantly be glamorous every single day without spending any money, not a cent. Stay till the very end because the very last tip is the most important that you're gonna need to incorporate this ideal into your everyday life. So what is the definition of glamour? There is a Wikipedia definition and then there's also the Oxford language dictionary definition. An attractive or exciting quality that makes certain people or things seem appealing. Example, the glamour of Monte Carlo. The next is the Wikipedia is glamour is the impression of attraction or fascination that a particularly luxurious or elegant appearance creates an impression which intensifies reality. Typically, a person, event, location, technology, or product such as a piece of clothing can be glamorous or add glamour. At job interviews for first impressions or meeting someone new for the first time, I always wear certain colors. I know it's really funny and it's like really planned and structured. I know that's just who I am. <laughs> if you understand color theory and symbolism, and if you work in, I don't know, branding and design, even personal styling, there's a lot of symbolism. Even a clinical psychologists talk about this all the time how color psychology works. If you wear red, it's really hard not to get noticed when you're wearing red. Red, the color that gets stopped the most because people see it right away. It's very primitive. It's very anxiety inducing sometimes. It's not a calming color so people notice it right away. Cars that are red get stopped the most by cops. When I was at the airport, I wore red and I was stopped every single place I went. All the security always stopped me because I was wearing red, all red outfit. I was like, why did I wear this? Why, 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 why? When you wear red, it's really memorable and people see it right away. If you're an introvert, if you wear red it's really hard not to be confident because everybody's eyes will be on you right away so if you want that then wear red <laughs> if you want attention if you don't want attention you can wear blue blue is the color of trust that's why a lot of banks are blue and it's also a very calming color if you wear blue you're most likely to just be your chill self you're most likely to relax is what i'm saying and have your personality come out more and people will see that so if you wear blue you're not going to stress anybody out just visually speaking so color theory is very very deep yellow i love because it's really hard to be upset when you're wearing yellow <laughs> yellow is one of those colors that it doesn't always suit me but it makes me feel like I have like a rich mentality I don't know how else to describe it I feel like I have a good life when I wear yellow <laughs> I don't know it's probably close to gold or something like that also wear a lot of rich texture patterns and um, color makes you stand out I'm not just talking about in your clothes eyeshadow that is like brighter than normal or like a different shade that it's pink or it's blue or if it's green whatever makes you feel beautiful but if you notice that when you put on red lipstick you act a certain way like you even have to eat a certain way you have to drink a certain way it's more high maintenance so you can always like touch it up. Red is like a very high maintenance color I think because it's so bright. If it gets on your teeth it's noticeable. If it, if it smudges you act a very different way when you're wearing color <laughs> and your mood changes seeing the color. If you see black all the time your mood will be kind of dark. Your mood will be of that color. It's very subconscious within us that we don't even realize. If you understand your color theory there's a whole other thing to that. I'll link a quiz below that you can find out what your color season is. I'm a deep winter personally but I break all the rules and I power clash. I love wearing bright colors with other bright colors. I'm a maximum list when I dress. I don't mean like I wear a hundred accessories. I mean every single piece I own is a statement piece. <laughs> I know it's like not everybody's cup of tea. It's mine and wearing color just makes me feel so good and it does all the talking that I don't need to because a lot of the impressions we leave with people are unspoken. 90% of what we communicate is absolutely unsaid. You use your face, you use your hair, you use your body language, you use your clothes and your makeup. Important also to take note. Always dress up, always treat yourself. When you have color or like little pops of color here and there, my wardrobe specifically, my capsule wardrobe, is mostly white, off-white, ecru, that's a lot of white. But it's because I wanted to make sure that I clean my clothes, but it makes me be more on top of it because white, everything shows. And if I add color, it's really easy for me in my personal capsule wardrobe to add color because I can wear any color with white. I love white jeans, I love white pants, I love white slacks. Add color with like a scarf. I love velvet and satin is like a finish, by the way. It's not a material. The material will be polyester with a satin finish or silk with a satin finish because there's a lot of silk out there that is isn't like a sheen and shiny, a white shirt that is with a colored stripe or like a really bright colored hair ribbon or accessory like a bracelet or your watch strap, just any color or a hat. It doesn't have to be all color all the time. Jacquard, brocade, and embroidered clothes. That makes you feel really regal. That is the, like the definition of glamorous when you go all out and do all the extra things. Hi, fan founders. Be sure to give this a like to help other
other people find this information and be sure to subscribe now to get more on how to be glamorous instantly without spending any money i have the next part coming out really soon it empowers people to have the information but it also changes your life to actually implement it so let me know in the comments if you try any of these tips and let me know how it goes and don't forget to check out the self image series because i have so much more glow up content coming out and i also have a 30 days of beauty series where i try beauty products for at least 30 days sometimes i've tried something for four years and then i review it if you want me to try something before you buy it let me know in the comments below whatever product that you're interested in so stay tuned and subscribe now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around